Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we will be creating a car dodging game in Scratch 3.0. So now, let's get started. So you can draw these costumes or take them from the internet. So we'll start with the code of the car. When the flag is clicked, we'll go to variables, create a new one, set score to zero. Go to x0, y minus 105. Forever, we'll have three if blocks underneath it. In the first one, we'll go to sensing and we'll take the block. If key, right arrow pressed, left arrow pressed for the second one, and the third one, touching the color of the grass. That is green. We'll go to sounds, we'll take the sound, start sound car passing. That's up to you if you want to choose it. Move 10 steps, same for the second one, but just change move 10 steps to move minus 10 steps. Cast a new message, game over if it's touching the green color. Now for the rule, when the flag is clicked, show, go to back here, for the locks, when the flag is clicked, hide. From looks, wait for 2 seconds from controls, we'll go to motions and we'll take the block, go to x50, y164, broadcast a new message called logs action. Set size to 40%. When I receive logs action, we'll go to looks and we'll take the block, show, controls, Repeat until sensing touching lock touch detector that is the beneath of the screen. Glide 3 seconds to the x 136 and y minus 184. Controls if lock underneath it. If touching lock touch detector, go to variables and take the block change score by 1. Hide Go to motions, take the block, go to x50, y164, broadcast a new message called logs action, set size to 40%. When I receive logs action from events, clean up the blocks, repeat until from controls, touching log touch detector. From sensing, we go to looks and we'll take the block change size by 5. We'll go to controls, we'll take the block wait for 0 0.7 seconds. If block, if touching log touch detector, then hide from looks. We'll go to motions and we'll take the block go to x minus 141 y 164. Broadcast. Locks action again. We'll go to locks and we'll take the block. Set size to 40%. When the flag is clicked, forever if block, if touching car, then broadcast game over. Now the code for the lane divider. When the flag is clicked, forever go to motions. Take block, go to x0, 
by 41 repeat until touching edge so it's like an animation we are creating change y by minus 5 so it will go down if block if touching edge when it touches edge go to x 0 and y 41 the original position back again when the flag is clicked for the lock touch detector beneath of the screen set host effect to 100 now for the game over screen when the flag is clicked go to x0 y0 that means to the center of the screen hide when i receive game over go to looks we'll take the block go to front layer show now we'll go to the tree on the right when the flag is clicked hide wait one second from controls we'll cast a new message called trees action we'll go to looks and we'll take the block set size to 40 percent and by 169 we'll go to events and we'll take the block when i receive reaction we in the block so it looks neat we'll go to controls we'll take the block touching sensing touching try touch detector change y by 10 wait for 0.7 seconds if touching right touch detector that means Go to X 132 Y 169. Broadcast to reaction. Set size to 40%. When I receive reaction, show. Repeat until touching lock touch detector. Glide 3 seconds to X minus 225 and Y minus 47. Change the minus 47 to minus 49. Now we'll drag and drop all this code to the second page that means on the left. Clean up the blocks. Change some values like remove the one seconds. Change the broadcast messages to three to action. Change the X and Y positions according to the three position. Like this, minus one twenty one X and Y one ninety. Again, change the broadcast messages. Change messages to three to action. The glide also. Now we will go to the left touch to take the flag is click, set ghost effect to 100, that means it won't be visible, just like the right touch to take to. Now we will go to the second set of locks, so we will drag and drop all the code of the first set of locks into the second set of locks. And then we will change the values as we did for the trees. Clean up the blocks so they are arranged. Change the values of the glide from x minus 113 and y minus 185. Broadcast a new message called logs action 2 so it's identifiable. When I receive logs action 2 and broadcast logs action 2 everywhere you see in the code. So, if you like the project, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. For more such videos, don't forget to put the notification bell on. Bye, meet you next time.